Howdy peeps, welcome to another video of Gill Skills. Today, I wanted to do a shout out video for a fellow scrapper called Ralph Morick. The link is in the description for his channel, as well as the link to the video that he made to create this. Uh, Ralph Morick actually made this plaque and sent this all the way from the Netherlands into the US to, to me. And for that, I'm extremely thankful. Uh, the reason for this video is to A, shout out his awesome channel and his awesome skills. B, we're going to revitalize this somewhat and preserve it so that it will not oxidize or otherwise degrade so that it will last for a good long while. So again, I want to thank Ralph Mork for making this. As you can see around the edges, you can see all of this oxidation. And all of that oxidation, believe it or not, is from handling it. All the oils and whatnot that come from human skin and just various things that have taken place since I've owned this caused a great deal of oxidation on the copper itself. So what I plan on doing today is very, very carefully unscrew the G and the S, and I'm going to sand this down so that it is perfectly glossy and gleaming and shiny again. And then I plan on spraying an enamel that will allow the copper to be shiny from here on out. It will prevent the copper from oxidizing and uh, it will look good from here on out. So in order for me to do that, first thing I'm gonna need to do is flip this thing over and very carefully unscrew the G and the S, which is screwed into place. So once that's removed, I'm gonna go ahead and sand down the copper and we'll go from there. So this is the back of the plaque itself. As you can see, Ralph Mork not only made this plaque, but he actually signed it in the most awesome possible way, which is absolutely amazing. But more importantly, what I wanted to show you was the two screws for each of the letters. So I'm gonna have to very carefully take those out so that I can remove the letters so that it will expose all of the copper. And then we'll go from there. To this day, I'm so humbled that someone would actually go so far as to make something this beautiful and this amazing. There we go. Just, just being careful. I don't want to put too much force on it. And the reason I don't want to put too much force on it is because Ralph actually made those letters. It wasn't something that he pre-bought. He melted down brass and he melted down aluminum to create those letters and he threaded the back of them accordingly. So I do not want to put too much force on any of this and run the risk of stripping it down. The nice thing about the enamel is, is I can spray the very back of this as well so that the signature and everything that Ralph wrote on this will not disappear. It will not oxidize. It won't be degraded in any way, shape or form. You know, I'm curious, guys, too. I know Gill Skills has not been growing all that much uh, in terms of the channel itself. I'm wondering, honestly, if you are bored with the content that I have, if the micro scrapping videos are too much or they are not enough. If you want to see different types of videos, different types of scrapping videos, please let me know. It would actually mean a lot to me if you told me what you'd like to see. I mean, you guys have been around for a while. You've been subscribed to me for a while, and I greatly appreciate that level of loyalty. And I want to reward that loyalty with the uh, content that you want to see. For some reason, I can't get that out. I think it might be stuck in the wood. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to take these other screws out and see what we got. There are a lot of other scrappers, micro scrappers, e-waste recyclers, and things of that nature that are in this community. Do me a favor, guys. Those that comment and those that like this video and whatnot, there's a lot of awesome people with a lot of content. So my fellow scrappers, please feel free to leave a comment on this video so that other people can check out your channels and my viewers can share the love with uh, your viewers and uh, I didn't mean that in any sexual way whatsoever. All right let's go ahead and very carefully lift this up. Oh yeah okay so as you can see there's just the copper right here and what I'm going to try to do is to preserve the lettering because Ralph actually made the lettering as well. So I'm gonna sand as close as I can to that without ruining any of the lettering. And then I will spray the enamel over it to protect and preserve it forever and ever. 
Now check this out guys, this is, I'm telling you, this is absolutely amazing. You really should watch the video that Ralph created to make these letters. I mean, he made these letters. He did, this was something he made. It's not something that he bought. He made this. And the process to go about doing that is actually quite extraordinary. So and that's, that's a heavy S. Let me put that on my chest to see if it looks like super skills. No, no, that doesn't work at all. I think I'm just gonna leave the S on the plaque. <laughs> And the G is a heck of a lot lighter, but you know something? It's aluminum. A lot of people don't know this. He made this plaque the way I initially intended my logo. I primarily scrap, I micro scrap, I recycle e-waste, basically look for those metals, those metals the, uh, of copper and aluminum and brass and all that, bring them to the scrapyard. So I designed my logo that way. The logo is copper and the G is aluminum and the S is brass. And that's exactly how Ralph Mort made this, which is really, really Really. G for great. Okay. <laughs> Enough with the puns. Let's go ahead and continue here. I got to see if I can get those out. All right. I had to take the screws out of the back so it laid flat so that I could properly sand this down. Let me go ahead and grab the sander here and we'll see if we can sand it down and make it look pretty again before we put it all back together and uh, slap some enamel on it. I'll be using 120 grit fine sandpaper for this little endeavor and uh, I'll be using a sander to do it. And I'm probably gonna speed through this so that you guys don't have to hear the sander. You guys can watch as I try to clean this up as best I can. <music> going to do at this point because uh, I want to I want to give it a brushed look. I'm going to hand sand this to the point where I can kind of get in a little closer on the, the lettering here and get it as close as humanly possible so that I can lacquer over it. I want this to be perfect and I want all of Ralph's original work to be here. I just want the metal to be really super super shiny. I want it to gleam like it should. Like uh, Ralph deserves it to gleam. So let me just grab a piece of sandpaper, and we'll get started. percent perfect but uh i i'll be perfectly honest with you i kind of like i don't know how well you can see it but i kind of like that patina uh the level of let me scroll this up here real quick the level of patina that is around the lettering i think it'll emphasize it even more so i may just leave that like there like that i think that is super cool there's still some evidence of uh I don't know, if you look at it dead on, you can still see, or slightly off, you can still see areas where it's not, that there's like discoloration. I'm gonna see if I can try to get that out before I continue. pretty darn good actually i really do like that all right well i'm pretty happy with this so what i'm gonna end up doing from here is wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol just to make sure it is super clean prior to spraying the enamel on it i'm gonna need to bring this out to the garage obviously to spray the enamel on it the enamel is good for metal and wood so i'm gonna spray that around the copper as well as probably the wooded areas i'm not gonna take the copper piece off because the front obviously really doesn't matter to me as much as the back does like the front of the wood i should say the back is signed by ralph morick so i definitely want to keep that intact and preserved uh, so that it resists those smudges and any oxidation 
So I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and some alcohol and wipe this down. I'm gonna steer clear of the lettering because I fear that if I use alcohol to wipe that down, that it will act as like a, a paint remover. So at the end, once it's all done, I'll probably wipe it down with a wet cloth or a slightly damp cloth as well. I just wanna be 100% sure that this enamel is gonna stick because I don't wanna do this again. I want it to hang up on the wall so I can be proud of it and Ralph can be proud of it. All right, let's get this done. Perfect. Okay, Whew. getting a little high off the fumes. We'll give that a second to dry and I'll just pat it down with a slightly damp cloth and then we'll bring it out to the garage so that we can spray the lacquer on it. Let's bring this out in the garage and we'll get it all painted up. Three coats of enamel. She is nice and shiny. And at first I didn't know if I was going to like the patina. Uh, on the letters, but I actually kind of like it because it highlights them. I think that looks really, really cool. I apologize in advance for any noises you hear in the background. The dogs are playing with their toys. But as you can see here, there is some stainage on this S. I don't know how well you can see it or not. There's some stainage, but there is some compounds that you can use to get rid of that. I'm going to use uh, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish because it works with all sorts of metals. I'm going to go ahead and use this and uh, get it off. So how this basically works is you take a little bit of this stuff and then you rub it on and you give it a good rub and it's going to turn black. Basically what it's going to happen is the, the stuff that's on there is going to turn black. That's telling you that all of that gunk that's on there is coming off and it should leave you with a nice shine. So once you, you know, rub it till it turns black, then you take a clean piece of the cloth, you wipe up all that excess polish and it should leave you with a good shine. So that's what we're gonna do here. can see this but it gives it a tremendous shine but there's still some stain there so I'm gonna go ahead and keep adding the layers onto it until those stains have been successfully removed we may need to time-lapse this letters out to the garage and um, get them sprayed with a couple of coats of enamel. <laughs> 